So let's move on to uh, Dr. <laughs> Horton, which has been named a top pick at Goldman Sachs. Firm bullish on this home builder heading into the second quarter earnings. Pete, you own this one, Dr. Horton. Yeah, it's, uh, you know what, I would agree with them, Tyler, because everything that we see, all the numbers that we see, all say that there is more upside coming, even though they've had an unbelievable run. And this has been a multi-year run. This is not just a run that's just because of the fact of the pandemic and everybody's going out for their houses. This has been a run that's been going on for years. It's a great company. They've done an unbelievable job. Yes, the costs have gone up. By the way, they've been able to pass those along to the customers with these prices as well. So when you really look at this and the fact that they raised their estimates going forward as well, I think that there's a lot of reasons to like a lot of the different builders, but particularly this, this name, I think, right now, given the backdrop of everything that we've got going on economically and, and the movement around the world. Yeah. Uh, Megan, you like home improvement over the home builders. Explain why you favor them. Yeah, I'm a little less optimistic on the trend in uh, new housing construction and housing mm -hmm. demand continuing. I think that those economic indicators might start to, to level off a little bit, whereas the consumer is still flush with cash. Uh, right. Consumers sitting on three and a half trillion dollars of excess savings over the pre-pandemic trend. Um, and we think home retail is still a good spot for them to be deploying that cash. Right. Um, I think a lot of it will be going into services as the economy continues to move past uh, COVID-19, but home retail is still a spot that we like. All right, let's talk about AMD. Reiterated a buy at Bank of America. The firm uh, says uh, underappreciated data center success will drive the stock. Joe, you own it. I, I do. I've been trading around it a lot this year um, and bought it below 80. Uh, so I finally got myself lucky on on one good trade, Tyler. Uh, <laughs> but there, there's strong momentum, clearly, both fundamentally and technically. And you just have to wonder how much of the missteps from Intel are really benefiting AMD and their ability to grab market share. I suspect a lot more than we think. And again, we're talking about a fantastic management team in place at AMD. So uh, I think it's positioned here above 90. I think it goes back above 100. And uh, I'm certainly looking forward to holding this one for the long term. All right, Amy, I know you, uh, I just want to get your thought on the semiconductors. I know you own uh, NVIDIA, which has been a very good stock. Yes, we've owned NVIDIA for a very long time. Um, we've continue to trim it and every trim has been wrong but we we like the fundamentals there valuation is is high um and um that that does make us keep the position relatively small at this point but if they can get this arm transaction through um i think it's going to be a big big win for them we also own asml which is um, we think the leader in semi-cap equipment and really well positioned to benefit from all the capex um, going into semis and, and each country and each region trying to have their own semiconductor supply chain. Down a little bit today as we see there, down 2% today. Amy, thank you.